A dire warning from a government consumer watchdog about the impact of the more than $1 trillion in student loan debt. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says that much outstanding debt could have a devastating domino effect on the economy, depleting savings, limiting spending on new cars, and putting off retirement savings indefinitely. And as Diana Olick tells us, the student debt crisis could also have a serious impact on the housing market. Sophia Shawley wanted to buy a home two years ago, but her student loans stood in the way. It definitely took a lot longer than I anticipated. Faced with $60,000 in debt from graduate and undergraduate schools, Sholly moved back in with her parents. It was the only way she could save aggressively while at the same time paying down her debt. I consider myself lucky that I had a place where I could save, but you know, what about other people who aren't originally from this area who you have to pay, you know, the extra 1500 a month just in renting and you, that rent money is not going to savings. You know, how are they going to be able to afford? to save up or to even make that transition from renting to owning, in addition to all the student loan debt. The answer is they're not. Total student loan balances in the U.S. nearly tripled between 2004 and 2012 to a debt burden of about $1 trillion, according to a new survey from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. In fact, student debt is now second only to mortgage debt and in turn has a direct effect on getting a mortgage. If you look at the average student loan balance, um, it's about thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars per per person or per student. Uh, so if you take a family of two, that's sixty to seventy thousand dollars. I mean, in certain markets, that's almost a mortgage payment. Um, that's almost as much as a house. That is partially why first-time home buyers are being squeezed out of the market. This vital cohort usually makes up over forty percent of home purchases, but these buyers are now barely one third of the market. And adding to the burden, nearly one-third of borrowers are delinquent on their student loans, which will keep them out of the mortgage market for many years to come. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.